guys, it's couponing Stacy here and this is my CVS haul for today, which is October 23rd, 2016. I had a really high net cost this week. I'm not happy with how things turned out. Um, one of the coupons I planned to use for this didn't work out. That was my fault. Um, but I think everything else did end up working out as planned. I just I still overpaid. I had $20 in extra care bucks expiring this week on this card though, so it is what it is. I'm gonna keep everything that I got. So my subtotal for this week was $1.43. I paid $3.66 in tax, giving me an out of pocket for today of $5.09. I rolled $22 in extra care bucks and I got back $15 in extra care bucks. That makes my net cost $8.43. However, I will be getting back a $1 rebate from Saving Star, which makes my net cost $7.43, which is way too high. I'm not happy with this, but I did an early activation last night if you guys didn't already see that video. Last night went super awesome, so it's okay that today didn't go as well. That happens sometimes. I mean, usually I have really awesome weeks, so if there's one haul that's not as planned, I'll survive. But I'll start off with a deal that I personally messed up on, and that was the John Frieda. So the John Frieda this week is buy two, get a $6 extra care buck. I picked up the Luxurious Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. They are $6.99 at my store. I used the $3 off of two coupon from the Smart Source 10 2. So I paid $10.98, got back the $6 extra care buck. It makes them $2.49 a piece, which is really high, like too high, but it is what it is. I was planning to use the $3 off of a $15 shampoo purchase, but I didn't spend $15, so I don't know why I thought I could. I just wasn't doing the math very well in my head. Um, I spent $13.98, so that's why it didn't come off. It totally makes sense, but it is what it is. These are really high-end shampoos, so I'm still going to keep them, use them, probably love them. It will be... Totally okay. Then I did the Suavitil uh, fabric softener. It is $1.99 this week. I had a personalized coupon for $2 off of one fabric softener, so it made this guy completely free. I thought I needed the personal as a filler item. I thought I had to spend four more dollars to reach my $20 extra care buck. I didn't, it's fine. Um, so this is the Purcell 40 ounce bottle. It is $4.34 this week. I use the $1 off of one coupon from the Red Plum 1023. So today's, I actually think I used one from the 925 expiring today, but there's one from today's inserts. So use whichever one you have if you want to do this. I also have a dollar saving star rebate, which brings us down to $2.34. So not terrible, not great. I usually pay 99 cents for laundry detergent, but it's not too bad. Then I did a couple of repeat deals from there on deals I did last night. So I will cover the last one that's not a repeat deal, which isn't a deal at all. I got this as a filler item that I thought I needed. This is just the Snackwell's cookies. They were 87 cents. Um, I paid that 87 cents and didn't need these, but oh well. Okay, then everything is basically a repeat of last night. So I got the Eucerin lotion. This is the original healing two ounce lotions. They are $5.99. I used two of the dollar and 50 off of one coupons from the Smart Source 10 at nine. And I used a $3 off of a $10 lotion purchase. It made these $5.98 and I got back a $5 extra care buck for buying two. So 49 cents a piece, not bad. Then I did the Colgate Max deal. These are $2.99 this week, and when you buy one, you get a $2 extra care buck, limit of two. So I picked up the two. I used two 50 cent off of one coupons. I personally had blinky coupons, but we have 50 cent coupons from last week's inserts, the 1016 inserts. I just didn't get those inserts. I got one copy. Um, all my Dollar Trees were sold out. If you saw my video last week, I never found more. So. That's why I used the Blinky coupons, but it worked out to be the same deal. And then I used the $2 off of two personalized coupon. So I paid a dollar and... Where is it? I paid four dollars... No. No. I 
paid $2.98 and got back a $4 extra care buck, making these a $1.02 money maker. Then the last deal is again a repeat from last night, except not as good because I can't get two of the rebates. So I picked up the Zantac Duo 20 count, it is $9.99. And then I picked up two of the CVS vitamins that are buy one get one free this week. My store didn't have two more of the vitamin D, but the vitamin D is the best deal. They are $4.19, but I picked up uh, magnesium, the 100 count, it is $4.29, so I paid for this one, I got this one free. So yeah, that was that part. I used the $5 off of one Zantac Duo coupon from the Zantac Duo website. It is linked to SmartSource, so just for note. And then I used the CVS printable coupon for $10 off of Zantac Duo when you buy CVS vitamins. So with those coupons, it was an instant 72 cent moneymaker. I had overage that applied to the rest of my transaction. So that was that. But that are that is everything I got for today at CVS. I do have $9 in extra care bucks expiring still on my other card this week. I tried to go to another CVS and pick up the Colgate mouthwash, but that my other store doesn't carry them either, so it looks like I can't do that deal because it is on the 8 ounce bottles that my stores only carry the 500 milliliter as the smallest bottles. So I'm going to miss out on that deal. But if you want to do the Colgate mouthwash deal, you are buying the small 8 ounce bottles, 250 milliliters, something like that. They are $3.49. You're going to use the $1 off of one coupons. Do not use the $2 off of one coupons. Those are for the larger size. But the $1 off of one does work. And then if you have a $2 off of a $6 mouthwash purchase, use that. If you combine those, you'll pay $2.98 and get back a $4 extra care buck. It makes them a small moneymaker, a dollar and two cent moneymaker. So it is a pretty good deal. If you don't have a personalized coupon, you would pay $4.98 and get back a $4 extra care buck. It makes them 49 cents a piece, which is still a pretty good deal. But keep in mind that they are the really, really small bottles. So I recommend doing this if you have the personalized coupons. Otherwise, I don't know if it's worth it because the bottles are so small. But that is everything I have for you guys this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red link down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!